Hi, I just want to show a uh, quick technique you can use to remove large dip chips from uh, old circuit boards. I've done a few projects where I needed to remove chips from the boards and I've used, uh, you know, the traditional sort of solder sucker as well as my uh, uh, Heiko uh, desoldering gun right here. But uh, the desoldering gun, it needs new uh, seals for the vacuum pump and to be honest with you, uh, it doesn't always work, you know, as good as I'd like it to. So a different technique that uh, I've used and that you can use in your lab is to use a cheap hot air gun. This particular one that I've got is the cheapest one I could find. It was a $70 special. So I picked it up and uh, yeah, I'll just uh, give you a quick demo of how easy it is to remove a chip using it. You uh, remove the hot air gun, it starts to heat up. You can see the temperature's going up. I've turned it to about 375, something like that. That usually seems to work. Well, let's go and turn this down. Crank the air right up. And then uh, just heat the chip that you want to remove. Now you want to heat the pins of the chip. If you're throwing the chip out, well, it doesn't really matter how hot you get it. If you're trying to keep it, it's best, you know, not overheat this chip because there is a chance you're going to rack it when you're heating it up. I've never actually wrecked any that I pulled out, but uh, the fact is, is that this is quite hot, 375 degrees. It's going to heat that chip up quite a bit, so there's a chance that you'll uh, mess it up if you um, apply too much heat to it. So I'm heating the pins up, and then what I do, I get a screwdriver under here, or else, you know, even better if you've got a dip chip removal tool, that's going to work the best. Now you don't want to sit uh, in one place on the board too much, because you're going to burn the board. This uh, gun is hot enough to, to burn the board, and you, know, you don't want to do that. It might not wreck the board, but it'll, it'll sure stink getting there I can start to feel it coming the heat even also you want to watch you know there's going to be capacitors near these chips and whatnot that you can you can melt you want to watch it make sure you don't apply too much heat you might even consider you know taking some tin foil or something and use that as a bit of a, a heat shield if you, you really wanted to yes there we go we have ourselves a free chip Here's all the pins, it's all empty, and you just need to use a little solder sucking tool or a solder wick in order to clean those up after you're done, and away you go. You can pop in a socket, replace that chip, and uh, your board's on its way to getting repaired.